We have been busy today. We've been talking about this generational piece and how a generational characteristic ends up shaping a generation over the course of time. So you have an event, you have a characteristic, and then it travels with them over time and impacts them in the workplace. So what we're going to be talking about is very specifically each generation, how that plays out. So we're going to start with baby boomers. So they're, the event that shaped them was 80 million baby boomers entering the workforce at the same time. The characteristic that came from that was that they were competitive, status-driven. And if you think about it, little things like, I'm not gonna tell that person I'm looking for that job because if I'm looking for that job and that person's looking for the job, they might get the job. So ultimately, this competitive piece plays out in all kinds of ways. And what ends up for us is this challenge in the workforce. And the challenge becomes, anytime there's a change, we question the status quo and, and the situation that that baby boomer is comfortable with. And we end up with this competitive boomer saying, ooh, wait a second, I, I don't think I like this change because if the change happens, I no longer have a competitive edge. I no longer am the expert in this area and in this field. So an event creates a characteristic and it oftentimes becomes a challenge for us in the workplace. So we just wanna make sure that we run through a couple more of these so that we see how these things impact us throughout all of the generations. So let's talk about Generation X. And one of the events that they went through, they came home to no adult supervision. We saw the back box of mac and cheese earlier and went, yeah, that's, that's an independent Gen Xer right there. And the reality is they came home, no adult supervision, they became independent and very capable of taking care of themselves. And finally, what ends up happening and our challenge in the workplace is that they don't necessarily provide a lot of feedback as managers. And so we've got this very collaborative group of millennials coming in and they're saying, hey, I want some feedback. How about we work on this together? And the Gen Xer is holding them at arm's length going, I kind of told you what to do already. Could you go away? That'd be great. I don't, need, I don't need to give you feedback. I'm good. I'll let you know if something's wrong. And so that's how it becomes a challenge for us in the workplace. And then we get to our millennials. And our millennials had a scheduled childhood. They were told to go to violin, go to soccer, do this, do that. And not only go to these things, but check in with me in between. I want you to text me. I want you to call me between each event. So there was always this sense that there was feedback between a m millennial and a baby boomer, their parent. And so when they get into our workforce, what we find is that characteristic travels with them. That characteristic is that they want feedback on a continuous basis. They want to understand, am I doing the right thing? And this challenge that we face with that ultimately is that they want all the steps to find each time they start a new process. And that's a challenge because a lot of times we, the employers, say, hey, go do A. And that millennial runs off and does A. And it, it's great. And they come running back, they're like, hey, I just did A. I want some feedback on this. And the boomer or the extra who's managing is thinking, why didn't you do B, C, and D? Because you should be following up with those things. Isn't that the natural next step? But the reality is, because of those events of their childhood shaping those characteristics, they want feedback at each step. And they're very smart. They're very capable. They're very creative but they want the feedback along the way to say, yeah, I'm doing this right. I wanna make sure I'm doing this right. So just being really practical as we hire millennials, we need to be aware that they're gonna be coming to us for feedback. They're gonna be looking for that feedback in an ongoing basis. And even if you think about the previous slide where we talked about Gen Xers, look at the contrast there. You've got a Gen Xer going, I don't need to give you feedback. I don't need to talk to you. I'm really good, all like in my little space here. And then we've got a millennial coming along saying, I need feedback, I need feedback. So just the clash between those two happens right there. There's a lot of little things that come into play. But these are, are how those events shape characteristics and then become hiccups for us in the workplace. So we're gonna spend a lot more time talking about those hiccups and giving you some very specific things that you can be doing as an organization to be more effective across those generations.